Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lauren. I am a sophomore studying chemical engineering at the University of Rhode Island. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about how I survived organic chemistry. I know it's the class that everyone's worried to take. It's the class that a lot of people think is impossible to get a good grade in, an A, a B even, but I'm here to tell you you got it. And I wanted to share a couple tips with you guys to hopefully make this class less scary and seem a little bit more approachable and doable because really, if you put the time in and maybe execute some of the tips I'm going to be talking about, you can do it. It's okay, you're gonna make it through. Before I get into my short little list of tips and tricks, I just wanted to explain a little bit of my process to kind of give you guys some context as to how I got an A in the class. So for each chapter, I think we ended up going through eight, eight or nine chapters in total. I should really know that. Anyway, for each chapter, I would start off by taking notes in the textbook. And I'm gonna be like putting up on screen all different examples of what this might have looked like for each chapter. But yeah, I would always start by going to the textbook and taking brief notes just for my own background. Obviously, I was going into each chapter with absolutely no idea about any of the concepts. So I needed a little bit of background information or I wanted a little bit of background information before I actually got into the lecture. So that is how I began every chapter going into the textbook, taking notes. I really didn't refer back to this at any point, but I really think it helped kind of create a stable foundation for me so that again, I wasn't going into the lecture videos or the lectures themselves, having absolutely no idea what was about to be taught. After taking notes in the textbook, I did something that might not actually apply to you guys. It depends on what your professor does and chooses to release, but my professor was fantastic for this. She actually uploaded the lecture videos that correspond with the slideshows that she would also post. So I would watch those videos before the actual lectures. And again, I know this sounds a little bit scary or like this is a very time consuming and it is kind of, but if you schedule it out and really stay organized, which I'll get into a bit later, it really was manageable. So I would watch the lecture videos and fill in as much as I could of the slideshows that my professor would post before the actual lecture. And again, this is just so that I could have as much background information as possible going into the actual class. For every chapter, this would kind of vary in terms of time commitment. Some chapters were pretty extensive and they were like six or seven videos each 20, 30 minutes long. Of course, we played it on one and a half or two times speed every time. Highly recommend if you're not doing that already. Once I got this done, then I already had notes from the textbook and most, if not all, of the slideshows filled out because again, my professor liked to do a lot of do-it-yourself problems or problems that she would do up during the lectures and she would actually do those also in the lecture videos. So I would just write everything down, fill out as much as I could. And that brings us to the actual lectures. It became a little bit difficult at the end of the semester. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It was difficult to really stay focused and follow along and not get distracted and start working on other things during the lectures because as you guys can see, I had already put in a ton of time to every chapter before even going into the lecture, but I highly, highly recommend, and this goes for all classes, not just organic chemistry. When you're in lecture, when your professor is talking, to stay present, it is so difficult, but trust me, that's also studying and absorbing the material. When you're sitting in lecture and listening to your professor, you should be actively thinking about questions they could ask you on the exam, or how does this new information fit into what I already know about the subject? And again, hopefully I'll be posting some, you guys can probably see on the screen, like some examples of what our lecture slides could have looked like. And as I was filling these out, as I was going through them again during the lecture, I was thinking, all right, if this was on an exam, what would a question look like? What might I have to do? How does this play into the learning objectives for each chapter? that sort of thing. And obviously for this course, there were some homework assignments and group assignments. Again, pretty time consuming, but I cannot stress enough, putting in the time for organic chemistry makes a difference. If you really commit yourself to understanding and putting in as much effort as you can when you don't understand a concept or when you have that homework assignment that you really don't wanna do, but you finish anyway, that's what makes a difference. So for me, 
I got through the lectures, I did my homework assignments, we had a few group assignments as well that I made sure to get done and also understand. Not just going through the motions, but actually doing the problems out. As you can see on the screen, that's what my homework looked like. I did not skip out on any of these problems. The assignments took me like over three hours sometimes, but it was totally worth it come exam time because the way I studied for exams uh, is that I used active recall. So I took some of the homework style questions or just honestly going through each slideshow for the chapters because our exams were on two chapters each. I would take those, I'd make a list of active recall questions in like a toggle menu on Notion. Again, you can see up on the screen, this is kind of what I did. And that way I was not only able to look back on this list and study using this list of important concepts, but I was also studying while actually making the questions because I was thinking about, okay, how might this be asked on an exam? What are the most important concepts that we learned in these chapters? How can I write questions based on these? Kind of like becoming my own professor and challenging myself to, to think outside the box in terms of questions that may be asked. Not only did I do this on Notion, but I also used Quizlet for things that were a little bit more memorization heavy. Again, organic chemistry, the reason I think people are so scared of it is because there are a lot of very nitpicky terms and even the way you draw things or one letter in one name of a compound can completely change everything or one number. So for those more memorization heavy concepts, I turned to Quizlet because I liked the flashcard format better as compared to the Notion kind of toggle menu. Again, that's just personal preference but that's when I used Quizlet. So going into the actual exams, I felt pretty confident. And I always made sure to feel confident when I walked in. Try not to let the other people around me really stress me out, even though waiting in the little foyer room before the exams were, were quite the stress pit, let me tell you. But deep down, I like to know that I put in as much time as humanly possible with everything else going on to study for the exam. And at the end of the day, that's all I could ask for. So I know that was a really kind of quick rundown of what I did to kind of like ace organic chemistry, but now I'm going to share a quick list of things that you guys can do to hopefully make your experience in the class that much easier. All right, so first up on my list of kind of general tips and takeaways I have from the class is just to stay organized. And this is really basic, and that's why I'm kind of starting off with it. It's just important to have some sort of method to keep all of your lecture notes or notes from the textbook or homework assignments, group assignments, whatever you may have, like all together. Whether this be hard copy on the iPad like I have, digitally on your computer, some sort of organization technique where you can access your information easily and quickly. Thank you, Mr. Truck, for the interruption. I find that when I'm studying for the exams or when I'm trying to do a homework problem and I can remember seeing something like it in the slideshows, just being able to access that information super fast makes all the difference. Because organic chemistry is so time consuming, if you can save just a few seconds here and there, not having to shuffle through papers or assignments, and just find what you're looking for that much faster, it can make the difference. Also, I find when I'm organized, like externally, if that makes sense, like all my papers, whatever, if I'm organized like on the outside, that I kind of feel a little bit clearer internally. I don't know, like mentally, I feel more prepared and like I can focus a bit better on what I'm doing instead of worrying about like, oh gosh, I have no idea where I put that or this slideshow is like in the wrong folder and over, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but just stay organized out there. My second kind of tip is don't be afraid to do the extra work. Take your time with the content and use your resources around you. So for me, not everything was graded that our professor put on our like class webpage. She gave us extra practice, like do-it-yourself problems, she called them within the slideshows that again, weren't graded, but we could do them and then email the answers to her and she'd get back to us with feedback. We also had other problems that she would post on the web page for each chapter, just kind of extra problems from the textbook that we could do for more practice. Those lecture videos that I was talking about earlier, those weren't required to watch before the actual lectures, but here's the little secret. If your professor is posting, is giving you these resources and these extra problems, you probably wanna do them. And I know it seems a little bit like 
oh, why would I have to do that if there's no grade attached to it, if there's really no benefit, benefit for me. Like there is a benefit though. Every extra minute you spend with the content in organic chemistry is going to help your learning and understanding of the content. That's it. Don't be afraid to spend as much time as you can with these problems. Sometimes it's okay to, to be that overachiever or to really go the extra mile in your class. And honestly, out of all your classes, I'd say devote maybe the most time to organic chemistry. Another thing I also did in terms of kind of using your resources is I was never one to like really like studying or working in a group, but I did find actually an old friend from high school that was also in the class and we spent some time just talking back and forth, one-on-one, -on -one, like not even really writing anything down or taking notes, but just talking about the concepts before the exam. And that honestly really helped because when you can talk about and have a conversation about the difference between alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes and how to name them with the IUPAC rules and whatever, being able to actually like talk about that and speak about it really cements the information, at least in my brain. And I found it really helpful. So maybe that's something you guys can do. Find a friend or even talk to yourself, talk to a camera, like maybe that's actually a good idea. Maybe set your phone up if you don't really have like a study buddy or anyone. Set your phone up, record a video of you just like talking about the concepts or anything that's giving you trouble, like kind of try to work through and just explain to yourself what's going on. And you'll have that video forever so you can play it back before the exam, do a little playback of all the videos you've accumulated over the weeks. And yeah, I don't know if that could be something you could try. Let me know how it goes for you. But I definitely found talking about the concepts kind of made all the information seem clearer because sometimes it can get a bit jumbled or it's like, why am I learning about this? And how is it connected to, to this thing that we learned a few weeks ago? Trust me, it probably is connected and talking about it is a way to kind of smooth that pathway out. So that's something I highly recommend. Another thing, and this can also be applied to any other class that you're currently taking or going through, just stay on top of your work and don't fall behind. So organic chemistry is definitely a class where each chapter builds on the previous. So if you don't understand something, even if it seems small, even if it's about like naming cyclic compounds, let's say, and you're just confused about why the ending of one name, why that changes when you're dealing with a different type of cyclic compound. I don't know, I'm trying to come up with an example on the fly. It's obviously not working, but you kind of, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. If you're even confused on the smallest thing, like seek the help, find the answers right away. Try not to procrastinate because everything builds on itself. So if you're stuck with one little thing and you decide to brush it off a few weeks later, that actually could have been really important. And that probably was really important to kind of iron out because you're now learning concepts that are a little bit more difficult and require that background knowledge. So again, make sure you're staying on top of things, you're doing your homework assignments, you're putting in the extra work and the time and really focusing on making sure you at least somewhat understand everything that's going on. Honestly, this again, way easier said than done, but do your best. Do your best to just stay on top of your work and not fall behind. And last but not least, and something I hope that this video kind of accomplished is just like, don't let the people around you and the talk about organic chemistry freak you out. So I'm hoping this video kind of can ease your mind. It's just another class and you can tackle it just like any class you've taken previously. Again, this one takes a little bit more time, maybe a little bit more focus and extra work, but don't let everyone else freak you out. This is your own journey. And I can say now confidently because I just got my final grades back, I ended the semester with an A in organic chemistry. And going into the semester, I don't know if you guys have seen my vlog from the very first day of classes, I was terrified because I had seen all these videos and I followed a lot of people that were like, organic chemistry is really difficult and you're gonna have to put in so much work and so much time. And I know I've kind of been saying that this whole video, but it, it just felt like absolutely impossible. And I'm here to say, try not to let these other opinions get into your head. And again, I feel like everything in this video, easier said than done. It's okay to have some nerves. This is a really big mountain to climb of a class, especially coming from a lot of other like general chemistry classes. It's way different, but you got this. Just because someone else might've struggled doesn't mean you're going to. And on the same token, if you are struggling in the class or 
you do start out and you feel a little bit shaky, try to implement some of the tips I've talked about in this video. And if those don't apply to you, seek help in other ways. Go to your professors, go to any counseling centers or academic advising sessions, tutoring, talk to your friends, talk to people that have taken the class before because everyone has their own take on how to succeed in organic chemistry, I feel like. So yeah, this video is kind of just about my journey and my process and how I thrived in organic chemistry. So I hope you guys can now all find your own way to ace the class. And with that being said, I've been wanting to make this video for a few weeks now, honestly, ever since I got my, my final grades back and realized that, you know, I did pretty well and I had some, some things to share about how to do well possibly in the class. Don't worry though, vlogs are coming soon. I'm currently on winter break and honestly, I took the first like few weeks of winter break to do nothing and uh, to play Minecraft and you know, Christmas, New Year's, that sort of thing. But I'll be back soon with vlogs and other like talking style videos because I'm definitely entering into more engineering coursework. So I have a bit more to share about being an engineering major specifically. And yeah, second semester, spring semester is just around the corner and I can't wait to share my journey through that with you guys because it's gonna be insane. But yeah, if you're taking organic chemistry next semester or yeah, whenever you happen to be watching this, good luck. I know you got this and you're gonna be fine. It's all good. Take a deep breath. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.